Welcome to Tea Break. Today I'm going to be doing an altered envelope using some serviettes and distress ink and stamps. So grab a cuppa, sit back, relax and enjoy. I'm using distress oxide in a colour called Gathered Twigs and just a soft makeup brush. I find that this is quite good. Just rub it into the top of the distress oxide pad. You need to get fairly firm with it so that you get some ink onto your sponge or your applicator. In this case, I'm using a brush. I'm using a set of stamps from All and Create and they've got a postage writing theme. So this is a, a nib that I'm just sticking on here. And underneath my messy mat, I do actually have an old mouse mat to make it soft so that the stamp impression will be a lot clearer when I stamp that on. This is all from the same set. This is a frame, but because it had things in the middle of it, I actually cut those free and used them separately. And I'm just using a piece of the frame. So you don't have to use everything from a stamp. I'm picking out some bits and just randomly putting it on. I quite like this text that's at the top of this frame. So I'm going to use that a few times, just repeating that over. Now this is also going to be covered by tissue so I'm not too worried about that. I'll still just use some random pieces and see how it turns out. I'm applying an old postage stamp just using some matte medium and a credit card just to smear it over so I can get that to stick down. Now I've taken another stamp. This is a Paris postmark stamp that I've had forever. I've just stamped that over the top. Finding another piece of this frame, this time it's on the side but I'm actually turning it at 90 degrees so that I can get the stitching going across rather than up and down and again I'm repeating that a couple of times. Now I'm taking my tissue, I've already taken the backs off the serviettes, the different layers and I'm just using a water pen. So this is just a brush with a channel that gets filled with water and you can use it to paint with, but in this instance, I'm using it to mark out the tissue. Once you've wet the tissue, so these are just standard serviettes that you buy and once you wet them, they'll fall apart reasonably easily so you can cut your shape out without too much trouble. The water breaks the tissue down so it just comes away. Now I'm going to use some more of the matte medium and my credit card and just pour some of that on. So the ink, because it's water based, will start to smear. That's okay, this is going to be underneath the tissue so that's all good as far as I can see. And then I'm just going to put some more matte medium over the top. To stick it down. You can see that I've got it overlapping the edges but we're going to rip that off in a moment. Now I'm ripping the edges of that tissue away, still leaving it fairly rough on the edge of the envelope. You could cut it with your scissors if you want to but I don't want to do that. The next step is to do the flap. I could have done this at the same time as I did the front but I didn't know whether I was going to do it or not, so I'm doing it separately now. So again, just applying some of that gathered twigs distress ink to the envelope flap. This envelope is quite large and it's already a pretty cream colour. It's from an old birthday card or something that I've kept. And I want to use another piece of tissue so I've got this other serviette, which is bird's nest. And I thought that was quite appropriate. So again, using the water brush, just tearing away a bit, just to make it a bit easier to handle really at the first step. And then I can work out what I'm going to put. And it seems pretty obvious that the nest itself is perfect size for the flap of the envelope. Now 
Again, I'm using matte medium just on the back of the envelope and the tissue to stick it down. And then a bit more on the top as well. I'm going back to that first stamp set and this time I've got one of the postmarks that's in that stamp set. I'm going to use it on the back flap. Still got my soft mouse pad underneath my messy mat so that I get a nice impression when I stamp it. I'm using that same text image which is part of the frame the same one that I used on the front of the envelope. Now I've decided that I also want to ink the back of the envelope. Again, I could have done all this at the beginning, but I was just really thinking about doing the front and then I decided I would do the back as well. So the front turned out so well, I thought I'd try it on the back. I'm not going to decorate this part of the envelope. I'm just going to put some ink down on it making it a bit darker on the edges rather than the middle because the edges is where the darkness would naturally be. And then I decided that I needed a little bit more on the back flap so I found these splodgy things as part of that same set and I've just added those on top. And there you go, I've finished my altered envelope. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.